Well, good morning. I'm Pastor Jay, and this is a devotional time. Well, you know, with so much going on in the world today and so much going on in our each individual lives today, there's no doubt that we, we bring on pressure that is just so heavy, and we find ourselves uh, having more than, than what we can bear sometimes, or, or, or though it seems, uh, with, with whether it be work or, or with school or uh, outside activities and events, and, and it just continues to pile up, and we, we worry about our bills and all these things. And, and so we, we understand that, that this world has a lot of pressures. And, you know, there's a lot of misquotes that are used in the Word of God. And one of the most uh, misquoted and, and most dangerous uh, misquotes is that God will never give you more than you can handle. And, and we've all grown up listening and hearing this, whether it be on your grandmother's knee or whether it just be the doctrine and theology that was put forth in your family, that you've just always grown up uh, repeating it and believing that God will never give you more than you can handle. And in actuality, this is a, mainly a misquote from another scripture in the Bible, but I want to look at the misquote and what the Word of God says about how much God will put on you and whether or not it's more than you can handle. I'll let you be the judge. Before we do, let us pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, God, Lord, we just thank you so much, Father, uh, for the love that you show us and the day that you've given us. Father, thank you for the rain. Father, just give us all a, a great time out at our respective churches tonight for Bible study. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, the misquoted verse uh, is 1 Corinthians chapter 10, uh, verses verse 13. And this is the misquoted verse, and I'm going to read this to you. It says that there has no temptation, and we got to get that part right. The word temptation, there is no temptation taking you, but such that is common among men. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that which you are able, but will with that temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. So it says that God will not tempt you above that which you are, or allow you to be tempted above that which you are, are able to handle. And if you are tempted also, it says that God will give you a way out of this. And we know that in James 1.3, uh, that it says that God does not tempt, that that is not his job. Now it says here in 13, it says, there has no temptation taken you, but such is common to man, but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted. Okay, he didn't say that he tempts you. We see that in James. But suffer to allow you to be tempted by the evil one, right? And so this is this is mainly the, the misquote that we see all the time. And it comes from this, from this scripture here, that, that God will not allow you to be tempted more than you can handle. But now we want to ask the question, will God put more on you? than you can handle? And the answer is an absolute yes, yes, yes. And there's a reason to it. God will put more on you than you can handle. And I want to look at the Word of God here also uh, in a letter to the uh, church at Corinth from Paul, but this is going to be in 2 Corinthians. And I want to look at 2 Corinthians chapter 1, and I want to look at verse 8. And this is going to say this. It says in verse 8, For we would not, brethren, have you be ignorant of our troubles which came to us in Asia. And the word trouble in the original language uh, really gives the sense of uh, death-defying trouble, the trouble that was that was very, uh, very dangerous, very uh, uh, to the point of even death. And it says that, it says, do not be ignorant of the trouble which we encountered in Asia. Uh, and it doesn't tell us exactly what it says, that we were pressed out of measure. Now, we, we know in... in uh, in the ancient language, talking about pressed out of measure, that they were pressed down to the point where they were were uh, uh, coming out of it. That, that they were pressed so hard that whatever was was on them, whatever pressure was on them, was so much that it was squeezing them and pushing them to their limits, to where they was if they were a balloon, they were about to pop. Right? It says pressed out of measure, above strength, meaning that that, that what they were going through was above what they had the strength to handle. They did not have the strength to handle what they were being pressed and measured uh, unto. They could not handle it inside their own strength, insomuch that we despaired even of life, insomuch 
that they despaired even of life. Paul says here that they were pressed so hard above their own strength that they were that they were squeezing out of the top that their bodies could not handle it, their minds could not take it, they could not endure it anymore, almost to the point of even death. And then in 9 it says, but we had the sentence of death in ourselves that Paul thought that he literally was going to die. It says that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So you see what he's saying is Paul saying that, that, that we were under so much pressure. And we're talking about Paul here. We're talking about a Christian, a man of God, one of God's own leaders, one of the, the main writers of the New Testament. So we know that, that, that we can equate ourselves with him and we can correlate ourselves into the situation. Will God give you more than you can handle? Absolutely. Paul says he'll give you so much that you don't have the strength to handle it. It will push you beyond any measure in which you can fathom and to the point where you even think that you're going to die. And as he tells us in 9, but we had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in our own selves, hallelujah, but we should trust in God who raises the dead. So no matter how bad they thought it was and how much they might even die, they need to put their trust in the one who raises up the dead and causes us to be able to overcome that which presses us beyond measure. Dear ones, as you go off to work or to school or to play, remember this, that God will not allow you to be tempted more than you can bear and will always give you a way out, but he will put more on you to test you to push you to your limits, even to the point of death, so you will turn away from your own strength, turn away from your own doings, and finally turn unto him for all of your needs. Well, hallelujah, praise God. Well, there again, my name is Reverend Jay Warwick. I'm the pastor at Letters Fork Baptist Church. If you do not have a home church, why don't you come out to LFBC? I know that you'll be happy to see what Jesus Christ is doing there. Have a great day. Join us at www.lettersfork.org for all of our newest sermons and God bless you today.